Yo people, welcome back to another video. This is of course EFL Championship Game Week 17 and there are some really tasty games on show this week and um, but it all starts today um, Friday with Leeds taking on mm, Rotham Rotham of course the home team because they sacked their manager so this could be a really great opportunity for Leeds to put some pressure on Leicester and Ipswich um, especially Ipswich who have a tough game but yeah um, like I said um, Rotham still don't have a new manager after they parted ways with Matt Taylor um, and it seems now like it was more out of reluctance than anything um, they were decent at, um, at home against um, under him but away from home really wasn't all that um, so yeah as for prediction um, I'm, I'm gonna go free one lead of course I did say that start of the season they would finish first and they were starting to get some momentum and building up some good um good, good wins uh, and some good performances so that I reckon they can close the gap so two points worth either Ipswich or Leicester. Um now we move on to the big game that is on Saturday which is West Brom against Ipswich uh, each of course West Brom at home now uh, before the break West Brom lost to Southampton 2-1 how much would that have an impact on them um, but it doesn't get easier yet beyond in for West Brom they've got Ipswich, Cardiff, Leicester and Sunderland so big big games coming up for West Brom to determine their season really um, but Ipswich again, they have to look over their shoulder, um, um, especially with the lead result, um, which could put pressure on them um, going into this game. I think a draw would be fair enough for both teams, so I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two draw. Um, I reckon high scoring, so yeah. Next one is Birmingham. City versus Sheffield Wednesday, of course, uh, three pm kickoff in the UK. Um, and this is where when Rooney's tenure starts. Um, he had five difficult games against the top of opposition. Now he comes up against Sheffield Wednesday, a team that's in the relegation zone. You are at home. He needs to win this one. It's a must-win game for for Birmingham and for him as a manager. Sheffield Wednesday have put have won only one point on the road this season, um, and they went over Rotham. I think it, it was um, at home. That game also proved uh, proved to be just a false win almost, um, and they've only scored um, once in their last nine games. So I reckon Wayne Rooney gets off to a mark here and Birmingham City get back on a winning run. Um of a when nil victory tight one, but it all will start with Birmingham. Next big game is Huddersfield against Southampton. Huddersfield I've been fortunate to be uh I've been fortunate that there is three worse teams in the championship than them. Um and it's given Darren Moore a bit of breathing space um, over what has been a poor time for him in charge at Huddersfield. So if I turn, I will be confident on the run um, they have had and will have coming into them. Um, and there should be another one for them. The only concern is for Southampton is that they aren't winning games. Convincingly, it's always 
uh, one goal margin, um, like a three two or two one. So yeah, but I reckon they keep a clean sheet, and I reckon they win with two goals to nil. So a way victory for Southampton, and that get, pushes them into the top ten, and um, I think or even maybe more into the top ten. Um, I'm sure where they are right now. Big game this one um, for Leicester. Uh, they play Watford at home. Leicester. Um, I've been good, uh, but I would want to win. Um, of course, still top of the table. Um, equal on points with Ipswich. I would want to win. Um, but this season just shows how good Leicester have been. Um, also, starting the season with two losses in a row. Um, uh, can't throw attention to you, but now they they're now top of the league, and of course this break has given them a good time to rest because they haven't been firing in all, on all cylinders. So this break definitely came at the right time for Enzo um Mar Marska. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced his name right, but side um so yeah, Watford. I'm proving slightly, but still not very, very, um, very tough, like very good. Um, they are six unbeaten, but I think this one will probably not be in their seventh game unbeaten. Um, I'm gonna go for two one Leicester. Um, so yeah. Uh, two unless I reckon what can get to go, but I wouldn't be surprised if they don't. Next one is Plymouth against Sunderland. Um, and Plymouth have played some nice football this season, but performances hasn't turned out into points really. Um, and time for them to to climb on the table really, and rectify that. Um, Sunderland. It's been, it will be a very long trip down uh, for Sunderland, but only one can hope it will be a fruitful after an excellent performance before the international break against Bayern City. Um, so Sunderland have also improved quietly, almost like Watford, um, but I think they are ahead of Watford. I reckon this one. Um, I'm gonna go two to draw, two to draw. So in this one, um, just wanna see where is Southampton. Southampton are fourth, so a win for them. Uh, if Leeds draw, it could take them up there. So yeah, but um, just quickly giving you guys an update on the championship table. Um, relegation, let's start there at the bottom. Sheffield Wednesday on 6 points. QPR on 10 points. Brodham on 11 points. Huddersfield on 15. Coventry on 16. Just remember where, where I said Coventry would finish. <laughs> 15th. So yeah, uh, they were worse than I thought they would be. Um, Blum for go, uh, 16 points. Um, and they are in 19th. Birmingham in 18th with 19 points. Swansea um, in 17th with 19 points. Also, Norwich 16th with 20 points. Millwall 15th with 20 points. 14th, Stoke with 21 points. 13th, Watford with 21 points. Blackburn and Bristol tied on 22 points, but Bristol aged. Um, on goal difference and they are in 11th. Then we move on to the top half of the table and there's Middlesbrough in 10th um, with 24 points. Cardiff 9th with 24 points. With, um, Hull, West Brom and Sunderland all on, on 26 points but Sunderland and West Brom are ahead of Hull and Sunderland have snuck into that 6th spot. Preston um, on 5th with 28, Southampton in 4th with 30, Leeds 3rd with 31, and Leicester 1st, Ipswich 2nd 
both on 39 points. Leicester um, losing two games in a row, I believe now. Um, so yeah. Um, but that's all the predictions. Um, oh, sorry, no, there is still more other games, of course. Um, Bristol City against Middlesbrough. Um, now, Bristol are 11th and Middlesbrough 10th. So, this is a big game, of course. Bristol at home, they have a good home record. Um, I'm going to edge it towards Bristol. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, 2-1 two, two Bristol. Yeah, I, I reckon 2-1 Bristol. Millwall, Coventry. Millwall, of course, are 15th of Coventry in 20th. Um, four points gap. Big win. If Coventry can win, this could be big for them. But... I don't think they will. I'm going to go 2-0 no Millwall. 2-0 no Millwall. Norwich against QPR. QPR in a location spot. And Norwich. Uh, 16th. Um, I'm going to go 1-1 draw. 1-1 draw this one. Preston Cardiff. Uh, Preston have been really good card of two. Um, was Preston being the better one? Uh, if you look at the table, I'm going to edge it towards. Um, yeah, edge it towards Preston. I think their own form will carry them through. One of Preston, Stoke against Blackburn, mid table clash, one one draw. Um. That's Blackburn. 14th against South Proper. Proper table clash. Swansea against Hull City. This is also a really big game. Um, Hull are a really good side. They sometimes just struggle to score. Swansea are improving. Um, but I think Hull should win. I'm going to go 2 0 Hull. Um, even though it's away from home for how to nil. So yeah, that's a wrap on all the predictions. Um, yeah. Um, make sure to smash a like and subscribe to this channel. Um, and yeah, if you want to follow me on any of my socials, links are in the description. So yeah, see you all in a bit, people. Peace out.